it's Christina and you're probably wondering why I have this awesome wig on and I just got back from taking my kids to a local harvest festival. Such fun times, it's my favorite time of year and um, I just thought why not wear the wig in the, in the video because I usually have some hat on. Hey, this is essentially a hat. Anyway, so we are at what? the 9th of October and I haven't checked to see if my rent money is in my property management portfolio porthole portal it's kind of a porthole but anyway um so that could be exciting that would be essentially my first cash flow coming in and remember this deed I purchased mm, I think it was back in May so that had been June July August September, October. So it took four months and then an extra month because the property manager gets the first month. So anyway, not bad, on target for sure. So you guys know that I got my first redemption on Friday. It's Sunday today and Friday I got my first redemption. Had to sign the quick claim, get that back. And it got me thinking, do I need to contact my coach and see if I need like to fine tune my approach. I've been targeting occupied properties, but should I not be like accepting properties or considering rather properties that are owner occupied? Like do those have a higher rate of early redemption? I don't know. These are the things that I need more experience with or I need my coach to kind of give me some of his experience and I know his percentage is not going to be my percentage because the variables aren't constant the variable the wild card is the occupant is the homeowner so in the past I was just buying good deals it didn't matter I wasn't even checking to see if they were occupied or not and then I got a couple vacant ones and I'm thinking, oh no, I got to pour all this money into them. But I forgot or I just, it didn't click that the more I pour in for the preservation improvements, it actually adds to the redemption total. And I know I keep saying that. And the reason why that's important is because that has to be reimbursed. That's part of it, you know, and we're helping these houses not just continue to degrade and become dilapidated. So we are helping these neighborhoods continue to revitalize. And that's important because if values can continue to go up, that's good for everyone in the neighborhood. And then people come in and they start revitalizing and it becomes a flourishing community. Community. <laughs> anyway, so maybe I need to go back to looking at houses that are vacant it would be easy to secure. No one cares about them anymore. Go in, do the rehab, and get them on the market for the full rent rate. Instead of buying occupied, then negotiating a 50% rent rate to give them a discount, and then not putting any rehab, and then obviously prolonging those rehab totals. I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to go to my coach and I'm going to ask him how my approach is and if it needs to be adjusted based upon my experience here with the redemption and see what he says. So, I will get back to you with what he suggests. <laughs> I have to just trust him because I have no other basis right now. I could just wing it, but like who has the time and the energy and the and the money and the attention for that? Like I would rather just Go to him, say, these are the facts right now. Like, what do you think I should do? So anyway, that's all I got. Hope you have a great rest of your Sunday and um, I'll keep you updated. I will keep you updated. Bye.